Coffee with Ben. Coffee with Ben. Hey everyone, my name is Ben Gramico. I'm from InterNACHI. That's the International Association of Certified Home Inspectors. And we do free online webinars. Um, and this one is a coaching session and it's called uh, Coffee with Ben. Um, that would be me. And uh, there it is there. And so what we do is we just uh, grab a cup of coffee. I've got mine uh, in my InterNACHI mug and uh, we talk informally about home inspections, doing home inspections, um, business strategies, marketing techniques, um, anything about home inspections and making money and being successful. That's what we'll talk about today. And if you're attending the live uh, coaching session, um, use the chat feature to say hello to everyone. And you can post where you're from and uh, chat with others. You can also ask questions. And that's what I want to do. I want to open up the session over some hot coffee with questions. What questions do you have? How can I help you? Because that's what InterNACHI is all about. We try to provide everything you need in order to be a successful home inspector. And so these coaching sessions are really valuable to some inspectors. Um, and we get to talk about business and marketing and try to answer questions. So feel free to post your question and I'll get to it. There's a couple of things that I want to start off our little coaching session with, a couple um, features of uh, a home inspection business that I'd like to um, show you. And one of them is, well, let's, let's share these URLs first. So where are we? We are on a webinar right now, and that's at nachi.org slash webinars. And if you go there, we do free online, live, interactive webinars. Um, a lot of home inspectors teaching other home inspectors. We also have the best vendors in the industry um, showing off their stuff, services, and products. We also have InterNACHI's vendor for inspector websites. They build websites for InterNACHI inspectors, and that's at nachi.org slash website. So if you need a new website, go to nachi.org slash website. And then we're going to talk a little bit about this URL, nachi.org slash everything. And there's one page on the InterNACHI site at nachi.org slash everything, where I tried to put 15 steps to success. And I put everything there, everything that you may need on that page. So there's nachi.org slash webinars. That's where we are, nachi.org slash website. If you want a really great website that's affordable, with SEO and natchit.org slash everything. So let me take you to one of the things that's relatively new in the home inspection um, business, and that is getting a great website. So right now, um, what I'd like you to do is go to this URL and let me show you something. So I've got my phone, right? Got my phone with me, right? That's my wife and I. Um, and there it is there. And let me slide this over a little bit. And what I'd like you to do is go visit my website. I want to show you what I have. It's bigbeninspections.com. Bigbeninspections.com. If you go there, bigbeninspections.com, I want to show you a couple of things that I have on my website that um, maybe not a lot of you have. So as you can see, you're visiting bigbeninspections.com, right? And on my phone, I'm getting notified of all of you visiting. So this is something that you should have. Not just a website, but you should have a website that notifies you whenever anyone visits your website. Why? Because wouldn't it be great to talk to them? Wouldn't it be great for your website to ping you, text you, notify you, and tell you, hey, someone's on your website. Do you want to talk to them? And let's say, yeah, I do, right? Let's say I do. So how do I do that? Well, I want to show you, right? 
So there's there's 26, 27 of you visiting my website. Okay, we get it. We get it. We get it. You can stop now, right? Let me just, I don't know who you are. So I'm just gonna open up my phone. Imagine um I'm in the crawl space or something. I'm gonna talk to a visitor who's um in Staten Island, New York, right? So one of you are in Staten Island. You can chat if it's you, right? And to know to, to figure it out, if you're on your desktop, it's bottom right is the chat feature. And if you're on your phone, the bottom right of my website that's designed by InterNACHI's inspector, um, InterNACHI's vendor for inspector websites. They designed my website, Big Ben Inspection. So I'm going to chat with you, right? And I can see you're on my homepage and you've been there for 43 seconds. And this is actually your second visit and you're in New York. Oh, it says, <laughs> good morning. I'd like an inspection. Exactly, right? I said, this is perfect. So what do I want to do, right? Well, all of a sudden, I've got some amazing things. I have my own website telling me that there's someone from New York visiting my website, right? And now they have a, a way to communicate with, with me. And now I know that they'd like an inspection. So what do I want from them? I want their phone number, right? I want to call them. So I don't want to lose them. Hi, period. This is Ben from Big Ben Inspections. And I would love to talk to you, period. I have a couple openings next week to do a home inspection in New York, in your beautiful city of Staten Island, period. Give me a call, period. Or what's your phone number? And I'll call you, period. I'm in the crawl space right now. But I'll give you a call in just a few minutes, period. Happy face emoji, happy face emoji. Send. Okay, I'm not even typing. I hate that texting stuff. You know, I'm not good at it at all. I just use my voice. This is amazing. This is the new trend, right? And now if this person wants to, wants to give me their phone number, that's great. But you don't have to, right? So I'm, I'm done. I'll go this way. Look, I have... 22 visitors on my site right now and I can talk to any of them right now just by clicking right here right I can talk to someone in Coldwater Michigan Staten Island Calgary Texas you know obviously I can talk to any of them and I can see where this like oh um someone's on my home page but then they move to services and fees like 7206 right the services and fees so they're taking a look at my services and fees that's really good they went to my homepage. Now there's services and fees. Maybe they'll go to the schedule now page, right? And then that'd be really good. Maybe I can convince. Websites should be telling you whenever someone lands on your website. If it's not, you have the wrong website design company. Where do you get the right one? You get the right website design company by going to InterNACHI, and it's at nachi.org slash website, nachi.org slash website. That's InterNACHI's official vendor for inspector website designs, and they have this feature, and it's included in their design. And it's like a couple hundred bucks to design the website, and that's it. It's a one-time fee. You get unlimited texting, and you get to know when someone visits your website and you get to chat with them and try to convert that website visitor into a client. I just spoke with someone, someone yesterday. He said that he has a website and he has like 40 or 50 people visiting it, but that's all he knows. That's all his website provides him. He doesn't have any way to convert those visitors into clients. So he's paying a lot of money for a website. It looks fancy. It flickers and it's got video and it's all that. It's a fancy website. Got real big, expensive pictures of expensive homes on their fancy homes and stuff. It's, you know, designed really fancy and it's expensive, but it doesn't have this feature. So you've got to, this is a new trend where um, you just don't hire a home uh, a website design company to design a website and they say things like um, we use WordPress and we do SEO. You want your website to actually make you money. You want your website to tell you every time 
a potential client is visiting your website and you want the ability to speak with them immediately at no cost. So go to natchee.org slash website, okay? That's probably one of the most important things. If you, if you have can't think of anything else to talk about today, it's that, okay? Um, so thanks for helping me with that demo. So let's see. The other thing I wanted to talk to you about is um, this one, natchee.org slash everything. So let's go there now, okay? Let's go to natchee.org slash everything. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at natchee.org slash everything. But first, let me let me take a look at some of the questions that might have popped up. Our, Brian asks, are Google ads worth the price? Um, that is the ultimate question that no one else but you can answer. So I was just speaking with somebody, someone yesterday about their website. They want to be on page one. Okay, it's very easy. Just run an ad, you know, just run an ad that's specific to your service and area and beat everyone else in, on those ads, right? And you can get on page one, you can get on the, you can get a, at the top, you know, the Google results for, let's just do it now, right? The Google results, usually um, if you go to Google, let's go to Google, start from the, and let's search for um, home inspection in Staten Island, right? So here are some ads. You got the Metro Home Property Inspections. You got House Pro, right? And you've got ads up here: Property Inspections, Home Inspector, Staten, right? And um, these are paid ads. You can even say, you can even see. Let me let me highlight it. So if you wanted to be right here, right, you can be right here. Just beat out this person who has uh, an ad running, right? Nice, nice. Nice website, except I can't re really read. You should uh, darken, it's called a vignette. You should darken this header, right? So that we can read the text and maybe put a slight shadow, if you're gonna use white, on top of something that's dark. And um, your logo needs maybe another redesign so that it can um, not be foggy or, or static either. I like to get a quote, set an appointment, Set an appointment. Oh, that just goes to your phone. Get a quote. That's nice. Um, no, do you really feel like a lot of people fill out all this information just to get a quote? I'm not sure. So you want to you want to do. Here's what you want to do. You want to make it really easy for people to call you. So you go to Internetchi's Call Me Now button. You take Internachi, uh, you join Internachi, you get into your dashboard and you can get one of these buttons. You can put up one of these buttons on your website so that a, a website visitor just clicks a button and your phone rings. I've got it on my website. If you go back to Big Ben Inspections and you click schedule now, I got a call me now button. If you click it, don't. My phone's going to blow up. <laughs> um, uh, you'll get me real quick on the phone. So I would suggest doing that. But if you wanted to run an ad, yeah, do it. Do it. But it's costly. It's really, you know, it's very expensive to run an ad. What I, I'm old school. I think you can get ranked by um, hiring somebody who knows SEO, and that's Internet G's inspector website builder.com, inspector website builder.com. Um, they know SEO. And also, Google reviews. So you have to get Google reviews. You can get a good website design with SEO and a chat feature, just like we demonstrated, but you have to get Google reviews because um, that will help you with the ranking. Um, if you, if no one, see Google likes it when people are searching for valuable information. And it's valuable because um, other people think it it is. You know, you want you want other people speaking well of you, and those are Google reviews. If you have a ton of Google reviews, that means to Google that this is a valuable company to others, and so they want to pair up someone searching for a valuable service 
to a company that has demonstrated that other people love it. If you don't have any Google reviews, you're telling Google, I'm not valuable. You're telling Google, don't rank me. If you don't have Google reviews, you are telling Google, pay no attention to my website because no one loves me. I have no customers. I have no one who wants to talk well of me. You're not going to get ranked. You can have the most expensive, beautiful website in the world. If you don't have Google reviews, you're telling Google, shh, don't tell anybody about me. You have to get Google reviews. And that's why I have a button on my website. This is designed by InterNACHI's official vendor for website designs. And I have a Google review button, right? It's vitally important. If you have 100 clients, you should have 100 Google reviews, five-star Google reviews. That'll help you get pay, uh, ranked, okay? Um, Timothy says, Ben, I'm in Pennsylvania. I would like to get licensed in PA, but in also other states, what's the process? I would go to nachi.org slash, and then type in your state. So if it's Ohio, type in Ohio. Nachi.org slash Ohio gives you everything you need to become a home inspector in Ohio. If you are in Pennsylvania, nachi.org slash Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania. And that'll give you everything that you need to become a home inspector in um, Pennsylvania. And there is no licensing in Pennsylvania. Um, the governor vetoed that. Uh, Kevin, regarding insurance, is going through InterNACHI ENO and GNO a good option in Georgia? Yep. Yeah. So go to nachi.org slash insurance, nachi.org slash insurance, and read about all the benefits of hooking up with InterNACHI's insurance. Um, there are many benefits. One of the things that I really like is the, oh, you can get a quote right here. And there's the um, Esquire, uh, the attorney, Joe Deneler. Um, I like the, the resources that Joe and his team has put together in order to um, respond to any complaint. So you may get a letter or a phone call or an email, and there's resources that are in place ready to go to kind of squash all of that complaining. And it never really wants to, you never want to go to, you know, actually making an insurance claim. You want these folks here to support you so that you can manage your liability, reduce your liability, go over all of your documentation and your processes and your agreement and your contracts and making sure you're referring to the standards of practice and all these other clauses that is set up for um, certified home inspectors. And then um, there's that. Well, you get better rates, better coverage, but also you get that service and when that initial complaint comes in. Now, I was I was a home inspector for a very long time. Um, only, only a few complaints, actually. So don't freak out about getting sued or something. But do get insurance so that you're protected and get affordable insurance and compare. There are many insurance vendors out there. Compare internet cheese with the other vendors. Get a, get a free quote at natchi.org slash insurance first. Get a, get a nice free quote real quick and figure out how much it's going to cost. Um, Donnie says, any suggestions on how to pass the B1 residential exam? Uh, we just hired a code um, official. Uh, he has 20 years in the business at a, as a code inspector. He's got the B1, the G1, the C1, and all the, all the ICC code uh, certifications. And we are starting to film the 2001 IRC with commentary. And um, that'll help you become a, a B1 um, ICC code inspector, right? What I, I'm an ICC code inspector. So what I did was I went to Natchez education page and you go to natchi.org and you go to the training and education you get to our training and education page and then you search for a course and it's called uh, property 
So the property maintenance and housing code inspector course. So I became an ICC code inspector. It's uh, a property maintenance and housing code inspector. This is a really good uh, course for a home inspector, but it also helps you learn the IRC. It may help you with your B1 exam as well. But um, if you're interested, um, you can become a code inspector. Uh, I, I failed the exam. I failed the ICC exam. I went back, I, I built this code course and then I retook the ICC exam and passed it. So it works. No guarantee, but it works for me. Um, let's see. So on the feature we discussed, it, is it creepy to reach out to someone that is viewing your website that did not send a chat? Um, no, I don't. If, what you're doing is, so go to Big Ben Inspections. Oops. Go to Big Ben Inspections, big, there we go. And then down here, it says, let's chat. So it's optional. The person doesn't have to chat with you, right? They can see you chat and respond. If they initiate the chat, yeah. If they don't respond to you, you can see them visiting you on your website and you can say hello and it's up to them to respond or not. So um, it's like, um, yeah, if someone's just, saying hello to you, you can, you can engage in conversation or not. So the visitor can engage in conversation with you or not. It's totally up to them, whatever they want to do. Um, I send an email to my clients after the home inspection, but clients are not reviewing me. What should I do? Um, and Chad gave a little response. I asked them specifically at the end of the inspection to leave a review if they have time. Um, maybe one in five actually do, but it never hurts to ask. So um, what I recommend is um, you get paid at the end of the inspection, don't you? So that's what I did. I would do a home inspection. And at the end, we'd meet in the kitchen. We do a summary of the report. And then everyone makes sure that you know they got their documents. And I, I make things. I maybe print some things out. And while that's all going on, and I'm collating and putting papers together in the home maintenance book and putting in the binder, I ask them for a review. I give them my phone and they can just click it right there because I have a website that has a little button that says leave a review. And I ask them, you know, first, are you completely satisfied? Are you hundred percent satisfied with your home inspection before you pay? You know, if you're not satisfied, tell me now and we'll continue. You know, I want to answer all of your questions because here's your invoice, you know, here's your invoice. I'd like to strike your credit card, right? I'm going to take your credit card. And before that, ask them, are you 100% satisfied? Yeah. Can you give a five-star review? Like right now, that'd be fantastic. While I'm over here preparing your report and maybe talking to the real estate agent and putting away the, the you know, putting the blinds back where they were and putting, well, I don't know, if I open something, I'm going to close it and making sure everything's turned off and I'm going to check the thermostat and give them a minute to do a five-star Google review and then pay you. Should be at the same time. Should think of a Google review, getting a Google review, like getting paid. It's that valuable. It's like asking for money. You ask for money to get paid for your service, right? You should ask for a Google review with that same intention. It's just as valuable. So if you're not getting five-star Google reviews, maybe you don't understand how valuable it is to get that. So I would ask, it's not a condition, right? To get paid, hey, you have to give me five-star Google review. You know, It's really at the end of the inspection. You know, And I just ask them, give me an honest review. Is it a five-star review? Yep, it is. Okay, I really appreciate it. You know, if, they, if you can go even further and get a video testimonial, that'd be fantastic. If you can get them to follow you, that'd be fantastic, you know? So um, that's how I would, I would use it. Oh, we use Blip. Yep, B-L-I-P-P. -P. Look into that. Um, that's awesome. That's a vendor in the home inspection industry and that they'll help you with that. There's also, if you go to natchee.org slash webinars, natchee.org slash webinars, 
you scroll down, there was someone, her name was Natalie, and there she is. And she talked about Google Business Profile and attracting leads. And um, she's from Boolean. And Boolean is also another vendor in the home inspection industry that will help you get Google reviews. Boolean. Um, does Internachi have a page with legal advice for new inspectors? Yes. Go to nachi.org slash documents. And nachi.org slash legal. So nachi.org slash documents and nachi.org slash legal. Let's see if I can type those. Mm -hmm. nachi.org slash legal and nachi.org slash documents. Those are two really good um, pages, resources for you. Um, John asks, as a new inspector opening up a brand new business while also being fully employed, is there any advice for marketing plan that would uh, be best? Yep, I do. You, I think you would really love natcha.org slash simple. <laughs> All these resources that I have. It's, this is natchi.org slash simple. This makes things simple for you so that while you have a full-time job, you can figure out what you will actually need to do in order to be on your own. And sometimes you're a weekend warrior. And that's a really good way to compete with people around you. Like I was multi-inspection company, right? Very big, very, a lot of business, but I really didn't like to work on the weekends. Now, if you're new and you want to break in, you can compete with me by finding my real estate agents who are desperate for me to do weekend inspections and offer them. Or come to me, right? Come to me, come to your competitor and say, I do weekend inspection. I'll do holiday inspection. I'll do Sunday morning inspections. I don't care. You know, I just want, um, you know, I'm trying, I have a full time job and I'm trying to get break in. Would you help me? And so, me as a successful home inspection business owner, I coached and mentored others who eventually became competitors, but that's okay. Um, you may want to think about, um, what you want to do in your own home inspection business and do it slowly. You have to think about your home inspection business and marketing in simple terms. And that's what I did on this page, natcha.org slash simple. You have to get it just right. What, how do you run a business? What are the most important things to a successful home inspection business, right? What are the three pillars? of a successful home inspection business. The three things that just about every business rests on. You have to think of them as three legs of a stool that hold up your business. What are those three parts? And we talk about those three parts in detail. And that's at natchee.org slash simple. So um, I would go there, I'd start there. And then be think about becoming a weekend warrior um, da, 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 da. I see you're posting prices on your website. I see you're posting prices on your website. Do you now recommend listing prices? I always have. I always thought, um, I never wanted to, in, at bigbeninspections.com, here, I'll type my website one more time, www.bigbeninspections.com. I don't actually do web uh, home inspections anymore. Um, I'm the COO of Internachi. I don't do home inspections. This is um, a website that I use for teaching purposes. And on this website, bigbeninspections.com, you get to see that um, I like to show off my services and the fees because I don't want to answer those questions. How much do you charge on the phone? I want to do something else. I want to talk to people who are okay with my fees. Um, and I, I'm not a very good salesperson, let's say, especially when I'm in the crawl space, right? So I want my phone, when my phone rings, I know that someone is interested in exactly what I have to offer and they have found value in what I do. I want to talk to those people. Um, I want to tell people right up front, I'm not the cheap inspector. 
I am the most expensive inspector. And I, I, the, the whole point of putting your dollar sign on your website is you are confident that you can show the value of your service. So in business, what you want to do is overwhelm your potential clients with perceived value that's so great and overwhelming that it's worth the cost. So if, if I put $500 there, I have to, in my marketing and especially on my website, I have to convince that person who sees $500 for a home inspection that it's well worth it, that I'm going to do a fantastic inspection that's so overwhelming to them when, when the value, when the perceived value is much greater than the cost, then it's a good decision. So what I need to do as a business owner is create incredible, overwhelming, perceived value, if not actual value, in relation to the cost. If it's iffy, if the perceived value is just about near the cost, then you have a, a branding problem. You have a problem with your marketing. You have a problem with your services. You have a problem with your pricing. There's a problem. If it's kind of like so-so, it's kind of uh, iffy. Eh. You know, like the McDonald's cheeseburger is a dollar. Uh, that's about right, right? But I know of a burger place. It's a $15 cheeseburger and it's worth it. Wow, because it's the best cheeseburger in the entire city of Raleigh. I know where it is. It's double stack. It's got the cheese. It's got some, some kind of sauce on it. And they throw bacon on top. It's the brioche bun is my tent. It's just uh, so it's amazing. I I will pay $15. I'll pay top dollar for a burger that's of overwhelming value to me. Same thing with your home inspection business. You want to be the best burger in town. And so that's why I put prices on because I feel confident. I don't have to sell it with my voice. I don't, have, I, don't, I don't want those phone calls. How much do you charge? Okay. Because then it's, you better have really good, you better have your elevator pitch down, right? You better know how to sell someone. Uh, let's see. And that goes, oh, then let's see. Did I... Oh, wait, someone wanted something. I don't think I actually answered it. So go to natchi.org. Oh, someone who wanted to start a, uh, as a new um, inspector. Go to natchi.org, go to get started, go to training, natchi.org, click get started, click training, and then type in in the search business. And here's a really good business course. This is the home inspection business course. This is a really good course. I love chapter 11 of the Home Inspection Business Course. It's a free online business course. You don't have to be a member. It's free and online and open to everyone. It's one of these courses that's open to everyone. You have to pay. And I like chapter 11. Calculate profitable inspection fees. How do you calculate a profitable inspection fee? You can calculate a fee, but just by guessing, maybe Big Ben Inspections does $500 home inspections. Maybe I should charge $500. No, no, no. Well, in this course, in this chapter, we go over two home inspectors, John and Mary, and they're trying to figure out what they should charge for their home inspections, right? And they figure out it's math, has everything to do with math, has very little to do with what your competitor is doing, has something to do with that. You know, you, there's a couple of ways to calculate it. You got to take a look at what everyone else is doing just to get a feel, but really you have to calculate it with math. It isn't about feelings. Having a successful, profitable business, it has a lot to do with basic math, right? So um, one of the rules that we just went over in business is the, over, the, the perceived value must, must be, <laughs> the perceived value of your service must be um, overwhelming in comparison to the cost. If the perceived value is much greater than the cost, then it's a good consumer decision. It's actually a good way for your, 
for you as a business owner to make decisions as well. If you're buying a, um, a website design company, right? If you're going to hire a website design company, is the value much greater than the cost? What is the cost? Um, Kyle, we went over the insurance, natchee.org slash insurance. Um, is the stock in agreement strong enough to get started or should we have an attorney write a review? Definitely have an attorney review everything in your business. I had a business attorney and they went over um, all of the documents, the agreements, the reports. What did I say? How do I say it? Um, you know, do I write my reports in the past tense? That's a good one, right? It should. But the Internet G Insurance um, folks, they can help you as well, right? They can take a look at just about everything that you do, all the documentation. And it's state specific as well. So Internet's agreement system has a template and then you tweak it to something that's local because local rules, local laws, local regula regulations overrule anything national. So you have to find someone like a, a local business attorney that will help you with your local business um, liability protection. You want to reduce that. Um, any tips on elevator pitch when stopping by real estate offices? Oh, it's a good one. You know, nobody, nobody wants to, uh, the real estate agents that I talked to did not have time to hear me blah, blah, blah about the same old crap that any other home inspection company could say. So what did I do? Well, I created natchee.org slash, I'll, I'll give you the, here's another one, natchee.org slash presentations, natchee.org slash presentations. And here are, here's a video. You got to watch this video. I explained to you what I used to do. Um, I didn't teach state approved CE to real estate agents. That is such a waste of time. Um, you're, you're not a teacher. You're a home inspector. So just stick with your core thing, which is to educate people. So you take these customized slides, your PowerPoint slides, like the AFC, AFCI slide. You download it, you customize it, you put your logo on it, you put your name on it. And then it's a present, it has presentation notes on it. And it's a presentation that you can do. It's 10 slides, I think. You can do it in less than 10 minutes. Teach the real estate agent something special about AFCIs. And then uh, feed them some food or something, and then pass out business cards and maybe follow some people, some of the agents on their Instagram or something like that, and, and have some fun. Don't go in there and say, uh, don't try to teach real estate courses to real estate agents. That's so boring. And it just is a waste of your time, in my opinion. Stick to marketing your business. Stick to what you do. You, you are not an instructor. You are a home inspector. You're actually a, a business owner that just happens to do home inspections. Stick with your business. And one of the things that as a business owner, you need to do is you go out and you make, you network with people who want to hire you, like real estate agents and contractors and all that other stuff. You do that for your business. You reach out and you, you drum up business. It's called marketing. And one of the things you could do is use some slides that are already made. They're really great pieces of information. They're valuable information worth the time, right? When you get value, you perceive value is greater than the cost. Five, 10 minutes of a real estate agent's time for an incredible amount of valuable information that ultimately pitches your business to them. Yeah, that's what I would do. And go to natchee.org slash presentations to get those resources. Um, and then the elevator pitch also is um, you have to, it's a mental exercise. You have to answer the question, why should I hire you instead of anybody else? Especially someone else who, who has a cheaper price. Why should I hire you? Why are you worth $500 for your home inspection? Why should I hire you? You better have three really good reasons. And they can't be the same thing that everyone else says. 
because if everyone else is saying the same stuff, I, I'm thorough, I'm certified, I write reports, I have pictures, you know, all that stuff. You know, tell me something different. Because when everything else is the same, then the only thing different would be price. And then the lowest price wins. And that's no good for anyone. So what you want to do is work on your brand, which is the answer to the question, why should I hire you? You work on that in order to distinguish yourself as something special and unique and a provider of overwhelming value. Maybe you love educating people about their homes, how to maintain them, how they work, and how to save energy. Maybe you're into environmental, maybe you're into sustainability, maybe you uh, are really good at inspecting uh, photovoltaics, or uh, you're an expert on uh, moisture intrusion, or the stucco, or you use infrared, or you use a drone, or you have tall ladders, or you know, on and on. What is, what is so special about you? Why do, should I, why are you the best burger in town? That is your elevator pitch. That's a mental exercise. And the business course actually helps you through that process. We, in the home inspection business course that we just reviewed, we give you questions to answer, to work through. And it's tough, it's tough. And you just don't skip it. Don't, you don't wanna waste your time here. You know, if you're running a business, one of the most important things in running a business is being different from all the rest so you can compete. If you're just the same, no one's going to, no one is going to care or pay you money. You want to be the best burger in town. Um, Paul says, I currently have a Wix website. Yep. Going to have internet. You build me a new one. That'd be great. Okay. Will you be able to critique my current one? Yes. Yep. Okay. So it's not that not that bad. Um, first of all, the header is hardly anybody knows that the header is down here. I was just looking up here. I thought it was just a one pager kind of thing. It was just kind of cool. Top right is usually where there's a call to action. So you're almost there. I mean, you have to put this here because you're required. Not the NACHI number, but the New York license number and the termite. Info. But there's no call to action at the top right corner. Everything is top right corner. Everything is top right corner, unless you're like on a very creative uh, website that sells uh, fashionable products or something. You know, everything is top right corner to sell, uh, to buy something. So there's nothing up here, right? There's a phone number over here and it, it's not even live. So now people like click to call, right? Um, your PD inspect, inspect and detect, your logo isn't that important. It's certainly not as important as your InterNACHI logo. This is really important. This is, this is really important. Your first time home buyer friendly. This is not important. No one cares what your logo is. Really, I'm sorry. I mean, your logo should be right here. Get it up here. Get out of here. Bring this here. You want the size of InterNACHI. The huge, big, the world's largest organization that trains and certifies home inspectors has given you a stamp of approval. And you have a little one over here. There it is. But, and you think this is bigger. This is more important. No, nope. Size matters when you're borrowing trust from a large accrediting organization, right? You don't, if you want to, if you want to immediately display that you're trustworthy, right? For a first-time home buyer, you need these two logos really big, really big. CPI, Certified Professional Inspector. Put that CPI with the thing down here. International Association of Friends. You know, I think all of this, you know, your name is Paul, you know, should, should be really big. And like, this isn't all that important in text, right? Finding the right home inspector is as important as finding the right home. It's a mouthful, Paul. I'm beating you up. I hope you have thick skin. Go to capitalizemytitle.com, capitalizemytitle.com, and you have to like get the right capitalization. Like um, here's, here's how you capitalize and not capitalize certain words in that long uh, uh, thing here, right? Um, I guess this is your tag. 
It's hard to read. You may want to go without serifs, like sans serifs. This, um, this is serifs. Those are little things that are on uh, letters. Those are really helpful when you're reading a newspaper article. The lines actually help your eyes move across the page. But when you're on a website, you're kind of like jumping up and down and all around. And you, you're looking at just images, really. You, only have, you have like three seconds to convince somebody that you're, you're worthy of hiring, being hired. So right, just change the font into sans serifs. I can't read that. There's, there's too much. A lot of capitalization and, and sans serifs all over the place. This is the most important thing. It's, it's hidden, right? So you got to get the schedule now, like up here. Schedule now. Big face. You have a great face. People hire whiskers, right? So but get rid of this. Put your big face right here. Blow these up. Give me assurance that you're trained and certified and that you're first time home buyer friendly. Give me a call to action at the top, right? Make sure everything that should be linked is linked. Move this header up. No one does a header in the middle of a of the of the top like call me now oh, that should be up that should be up there that helps you convert no one can read this no one can read no one's going to read any of this this is really important yeah this is really this should be the second section these are sections your second section should be this that you're trained in all these things let's chat that's nice okay services services did that change no 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 you can't do that when you go to a new, new home page, a new page, everything has to change so that the user knows that this is, a, I'm on the next page, right? Nothing changed from here to here. Well, you know, you're forcing me to scroll. Uh, forget it. So there's a few things, right? Credibility, borrowing trust from InterNACHI. That's good for experienced inspectors, veteran inspectors, and new inspectors, especially first time home buyer friendly, you want to get that con conveyed out to you have a unique, this is, this is your brand. This is Paul. I want to hire Paul P and D you change your name to Paul, right? Paul home inspection, Paul's home inspections or something, right? Paul, you're in charge, right? P you're what that big picture right there, right? Maybe we'll do one of these shots, right? Right here. Show me the brand of the company. The main reason I would hire P&D is because of Paul. He's the best, right? You want to put your picture right there, man. That distinguishes you from all the competition. The other thing that helps you is that you have Google reviews. Where are your Google reviews? The other thing that helps you is that you have um, all kinds of services that are affordable. And the other thing that helps you is it's easy to schedule with you because you're top right corner schedule now and you use the call me now button, right? And you're certified out the wazoo because, oh, what page am I on? I can't tell because the top part never above the fold never changes. Uh, there we are. You're certified like crazy, right? So I'd, I'd change a few things. And this is valuable for everyone, right? It's valuable for everyone to know that what you want to do is you have, uh, you have, you need to hire a website designer who understands hierarchy content what is more most important and those are things that are um seen first and big and easy to understand so it's usually uh an illustration a picture a graphic some text and they're big easy and they hit the points you have to have points those elevator pitches that somebody was talking about give me the reasons why you should be hired and tell me that you're trustworthy Tell me that other people like you and tell me how easy it is to schedule with you. You know, you want to, you want to, it's called a hierarchy of content and your website designer should be able to help you with that. What's the most important thing here, Paul? You, you know, you, not your, your logo. Your logo is not that good. You, Paul, right? And that you're certified and trained and you're first time home buyer friendly, right? Now you can move on. What else is unique about P&D inspections that is so special that it makes you the best burger in town? I can't answer that for you. You have to figure that out. What is the other thing that you do that's so great? Why are you passionate about performing an inspection for people? What is it that you do that's different from all the rest? 
Do you use infrared? Infrared is still unique in, in many ways. If you use infrared, you got to put that infrared certification there. Use infrared. If you're a termite inspector, man, you're an authoritative professional about wood destroying organisms and insects. That should be right there, somewhere up there. Because if I was competing with you, I'm not doing that termite certification. Forget that. You're going to have to, you're just going to overwhelm me with that kind of competition. How am I going to compete with P&D? They're certified and trained in a service that I don't provide. Well, I, you know, that's a, that's a really good competitive advantage that you have that you're really just missing out, I think. Figure out what makes you the best and make sure you rank that high in your content and in your marketing. Okay, don't say anything that everybody else can say. Finding the right home inspector is as important as finding the right... Okay, we, I think we all know that. You don't have to tell me that, right? Tell me why I have, you, I have found the right inspector. I don't know where you are. What, what happened? Ooh, I, I did something. I, what did I hit? I hit something on your website that turned me into Facebook. Okay. All right, Paul. Uh, boy, I wonder if you're glad you asked that question. What is the web address for what you're speaking about now? I don't know, man. Um, what, what What is that? Uh, here's the web addresses that we have. Uh, how important is building a relationship with your local real estate offices? For me, 90% of all of my home inspection business came from real estate agents. Um, what do you include a yearly income maintenance? What do you include in a yearly home maintenance inspection? I wouldn't worry too much about that. It's like a home inspection, right? Here's the point. <clears throat> uh, when you're scheduling a home inspection, schedule next year's inspection. Schedule a follow-up inspection. Like you should never schedule one inspection. You should schedule three. Here are the three that you should schedule. This is, there's only a few ways to make more money. And the main one is scheduling more inspections, right? <laughs> and just do more inspections. That's one of the best ways to make more money in this business. Do more inspections. So how do you do more inspections? Schedule. When you schedule one home inspection, you tell them, let's schedule the um, pre-closing walkthrough. Every home buyer has a chance before they sign on a dotted line to walk through the home one more time. Now, it's up to you. Maybe you do that for free. Maybe you do it for 10 bucks. Maybe you do it per hour, something like that. Third thing is next year's inspection, right? You, you want to, or if there are repairs, there's even four. If there are repairs in your report, then you want to do a follow-up on making sure that those repairs were done properly. And then next year's uh, maintenance inspection or a checkup inspection. If it's a brand new home, maybe it's a... Uh, uh, an inspection for the builder, like the 11 month warranty inspection or something, right? So you want to schedule all these inspections at the time of the inspection. And if you want to schedule all the, and bundle, maybe you bundle the first inspection and the maintenance inspection in a year. And, you know, individually they cost a lot, you know, it's 500 and 100, but if it's a 550 or something, some, the point is you're scheduling in the future. You're scheduling jobs in the future. Yeah, that's one of the best ways to make money. Don't just schedule one job. One of the other, a great way to make money is you sell more inspections per client. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Do you like the online scheduler? Yep, I've got Spectora on my uh, Big Ben inspections as a scheduler. Doesn't this create potential logistic issues depending on the location distance? None. No, it's fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. Are there any mentors in California? Yes. You go to natchiorg slash mentoring. natchiorg slash mentoring. natchiorg slash mentoring. Let's go there now. Natchi. Natchi.org slash mentoring. Internachi has a peer-to-peer -peer mentoring program. You can become a mentor or you can find a mentor. And if you log in, I'll show you what it what it looks like. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm gonna have to log in as um, one of my other accounts instead of being a, let's see if I can get it. Yeah, 
Okay, so I'm in the mentoring program in my dashboard. So every InterNACHI member has a dashboard through their account. And you log in at the top right corner because that's where the call to action is, Paul. And you go down to, um, you go to your mentoring section and you can find mentors who just do phone-based mentoring or email or ride-alongs or video conferencing or texting. Um, you can do pre-listing types of uh, mentors. Some mentors are just pool and spa. So these are all the pool and spa mentors, right? So let's um, clear that. You can find people in California. So in California, we have 12, 12 mentors in California. And here they are, Tony, Taiwan, Henry, Bruce, Annie, Jeffrey, Jeff, Ruben, David, Don, and Lockard, right? Awesome, fantastic. I have 24 years of experience and have conducted over 9,000 inspections. I have a lot of technical and business experience. That's Tony. That's awesome. Yeah, fantastic. There he is. You can email him or call him, right? He's a mentor. These men and women, of InterNACHI who become mentors, uh, they are the best of the best. They have decided that it is of great value to the entire industry in order to take time and share what they know with other inspectors, even if that means they're training potential competitors, because we're all friendly competitors, right? And the entire industry moves ahead and gets better with men and women like Tony here. They're InterNACHI mentors. That's the backbone of the health of the organization. Other inspectors helping other inspectors. It's really good. So thank you, Tony. Thanks for being a mentor. Really appreciate that. Um, let's see. What advice do you find, find in print? Okay, Rose, people look at my site, but are not calling me or emailing me, what am I doing wrong? So Julian, um, Julia, Julie, sorry, um, asked about rosehomeinspection.com. Um, yeah, uh, I would just contact InterNACHI's vendor, you know, for a website design. And that's at natchiorg slash website and let them help you. Um, if you're, if, um, so let's see, what, here's what I can do. I'm gonna show you my phone again. Okay, so here's my phone. I'm gonna log in. I go to my owner's app, right? This is the app that I have as um, an owner of my business. My home inspection website design company gives me an app so that I can see analytics, Julie. So you're wondering what, what's happening? Are people are landing on my website and like leaving? So I go to my site sessions and I can see how many people are coming to my website. Sometimes it's up, sometimes it's down, right? I can see what they're doing. I can see um, how many unique visitors. Is it up or down? Or are these repeat customers? Are, and I can see also like what page they're on and do they stay or do they leave, right? So if they, I can see, oh, I had 17 a little while ago, people visit. It's analytics. Analytics tells you what is going on with your website. And in my website, I can see, um, I can see if, I can see this data. So people go to my homepage, right? Bring it up, it's on my phone. People go to my homepage, right? And then where do they go? Services and fees. Oh, that's perfect. They go to my homepage, they don't leave right? It's, it's up. And then they go to my homepage and this home, then they go to my services and fees just to see what services and fees. And ma that makes sense. What else do they, oh, that sometimes they go to my qualifications they take a look at the sample port and they go to schedule now and schedule now. I want this to be going up all the time. It needs to be increasing all the time. I want to see, you know, it's going up. This is going up 145%. I don't even do inspections. I don't even do inspections and my website is designed to be successful in converting website visitors into clients. I get a lot of jobs scheduled and I don't even do inspections. 
because my website is designed well and I get to see um, what is going on because I get this kind of app. This information is very valuable to a business owner. What is my website doing? Your website design company should be able to answer that, give you all the information that you need in order to measure your website performance. Is your marketing performing the way it should be? Or are you wasting money? And this can be answered with analytics. Website analytics is highly valuable. It's really valuable. And you have to have access to it. You really do. Look at how many visitors. Would you guys stop visiting my website? I have 14 visitors. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where, where are we? Questions? Questions? How many presentations with lunch and learn a month you'll do to step out in out from the realtors? Carmen asks, how many times do I see it? Uh, well, when I'm busy, man, when I'm busy, I'm not doing I'm not doing marketing. That's really bad because marketing never stops. But you know, when you're busy, you gotta, you know, you gotta make money, you gotta make hay. So when you're slow. Let's say you don't have a home inspection scheduled today. Yeah, wake up, put your shoes on, dress up in your company, shirts, and you go to work and you work on your marketing. One of the things you could do is visit real estate offices. And, you know, it, there is, really isn't a number, uh, Carmen. Like, I do two visits a month. Now, maybe if that's all you do, maybe if you hire a, a growth agent, right? Someone who just goes out and drums up business, then yeah, maybe you're saying like three a week, five a week, something a month. But if you're the owner, sole proprietor, the only person doing everything, when you begin, you know, you're the, you're the entrepreneur and you're doing everything. Maybe you don't have time. So you just fit it in whenever you can. I loved visiting real estate offices, especially the small ones that never got the love. And I would bring them candy or peaches or whatever you want or nothing. Don't bring them anything. Just bring them business. Home maintenance books. Go to Internet Home Maintenance Books. Get a stack of books and pass out home maintenance books. Gonna give them something of value. But... Um, do those presentations at natcha.org slash presentations. Whoops, that's my calculator. Natcha.org slash presentations to get those resources to do presentations. Um, who does all the scheduled inspections? Oh, I'm not sure. What do you mean? Who does all the scheduled? Like, like uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. I would get an on I would get a piece of software that helps you schedule online so that your website, think of your website as an employee working for you all the time. It costs you a lot, right? It costs you probably $16 a month to have your website hosted. Maybe 20, no more than 20. $20 a month. And don't get hooked by this management thing. We're we're gonna manage your website, you know, for $400 a month. No, it's about 20 bucks a month. No more than that for a website. And you have to think about it like, you know, what is this website? What is this employee doing for me? Well, they should be scheduling jobs while I'm sleeping or I'm on the roof or in the crawl space. So you have a schedule now button at the top right of your website. And you have a couple of ways for someone to schedule a job with you. Internet, she's call me now button. We reviewed this already. This is free. Immediately get somebody on the phone, your phone number, and that's live, right? Your email, and that's live linked, or your software provider, they'll give you an embed code so that your website can schedule an inspection for you, just like a good employee would. You also leave people a form so that they can send you a message. Now people can send you a message using a form, they can schedule online, they can email you, they can call you, they can click call you, they can use a call me now button, they can text you, 
all these various different ways for people to schedule a, a, an inspection with you and you've done nothing, right? But hire the right designer. That's pretty cool. Cool. All right. All right. Let's go to, oh, it's been an hour. I'm going to finish up with this. I'm going to show, I'm going to tell you where to go, right? Because we've been talking for an hour over coffee. Wait, do you have your coffee? It's coffee with Ben. Natchee.org slash uh, everything. Natchee.org slash everything. Go to natchee.org slash everything. That's where we're going. Natchee.org slash everything. And if you're new, I want you to do the first five steps. One, two, three, four, five. Before the sixth step, before step number six, right? You've completed all five steps. You'll then at that point, you can start making money as a home inspector. There's just five steps. I would do that tonight if you're brand new. First step is join the internet sheet. Sorry, I sounds like uh, I sound like a salesperson, right? But it's hard to help you with resources if you're not a member of internet sheet because internet sheet is so big and overwhelming, we provide everything you need to run a successful home inspection business. Not just the training and the certification, but the business and the marketing as well. Like we have an entire marketing team. There are six full-time employees on the marketing team at Internet G, and all they do is develop marketing for inspectors. And all of their work, their design work, is free. All you do is pay for the printing. You can go to Vistaprint, good company. You can pay them, but they're not like Internet's marketing team. Internet's marketing team knows home inspectors, right? That's all they focus on. That's all they work for, home inspection companies. So it would be impossible for you. I don't care how big and successful you are. It would it, it, just not, just not, possible to hire internet cheese marketing team six people to work on your marketing all the time 24 7 you can ask them to do anything you want make a logo redesign another logo redesign a business card design a new rack card a flyer how about a vehicle wrap they can design that put something on a shirt anything you want they can design you just pay for that printing and the design work is absolutely free. All that design work is free. InterNACHI's marketing team, okay? That's why you join InterNACHI, in order to have access to everything you need to be successful. That's step one. Go to step two, step three, step four, step five. And that's at nachi.org slash everything, okay? Well, if you know me, you know that I love coffee. <laughs> and we've had about an hour's worth of coffee drinking, talking about home inspections and business and marketing. And I hope you found it uh, of value and worth it. I want to thank you all for being with me on this Coffee with Ben webinar. And that's at nachi.org slash webinars. Thank you very much. My name is Ben Gramico. I'm from InterNACHI. That's the International Association of Certified Home Inspectors. And I'll see you on the next webinar. Stay safe and healthy, everybody. Coffee Bye. with Ben. Coffee with Ben. Call, call, coffee with Ben.